That's enough of that. Welcome to the dang ass stream, everybody. So, oh wait, there's echo. Fuck. Bleh. So, welcome to Poetry Night. So, what was I gonna say? I definitely had things to say that weren't just me being like, "Welcome to Poetry Night." Uh, I made a instructional video, but. I had like other things to say before I was like, okay, we're gonna watch the instructional video now. Um, this is the first one, so it's gonna be like rough. Um, but we have six artists lined up. I'm not sure what order they're coming in, and I don't think they know either. Um, so you know, we're gonna we're gonna wing it for the next uh, couple of minutes. We're gonna be watching the fun instructional video. If you want to come on, follow the instructions in the instructional video. Um, and yeah, everyone's welcome. Oh, there we, we got our first snap. Hell yeah. Thank you for the, so I'm hoping that that doesn't 
that those are allowed to overlap and they don't just sound isolated the whole time. But if they do, it'll be kind of funny and I'll work on a solution for it next time. Um, but yeah, let's check out our fun instructional video. All right, so I'm still recovering from the vaccine as I'm recording this, so if I sound sick or whatever, just take your panties out of your ass and it should be fine. Uh, this is the promotional slash instructional video for Maddie Girl Meets uh, fucking untitled open mic poetry night stream. And here's how it's going to work. If you want to participate, uh, you can read poetry or rap or play an instrument if you can figure out how to get it through Discord. In the title of the stream and in the tweet this is posted in, there's going to be a link to a Discord server. Go to that link, go to the announcements channel, add an anatomical heart reaction to the most recent announcement. Don't start a new reaction chain, because basically what I'm going to do is use the reactions for the order that people come up in, right? The lineup. First person to react gets to go up first. Um, when you're done that, hop into the stream chat labeled waiting room and you will be brought on stage to do your performance. We'll talk about rules just a little bit later. Um, for the audience, poetry is a very, participat very participatory art, right? You see, like, the people with the black berets just, like, um, which I don't know where that stereotype comes from. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, oh, um, but... Even if you don't want to read your own stuff, you can still send supportive chat messages or I'm like working on other ways to interact. For example, if you scroll down, uh, you can see this blue box here that says snap, three snaps, six snaps. Um, so if you click on that, it'll play a snapping sound effect on stream, like a real poetry reading. Wow. Um, so, you know, feel free to snap if something really connects with you. This audio is going to sound different because I recorded it at a different time. So uh, one suggestion I had is that if you want to be credited for your work, you can change your name or your nickname in the Discord to uh, your Twitter at or whatever you want to be credited as because that's what will be displayed on stream, just so you're aware. Uh, let's talk about rules. Um, no bigotry, obviously. Like poetry is this experiential thing and so if you're a trans woman whose poem includes like one of the ver various t words for example that's completely fine i don't think anyone has a problem with that i would maybe like trigger tag it um before you start reading and you'll be given extra time for that obviously um but if you're you know out there like i think x group of people should die and i'm not joking and this isn't rhetorical no 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 i'm just being serious these are my honest opinions then obviously like i would want you to be removed um keep it under five minutes give everyone a chance to come up obviously you're not going to get kicked off stage but if you're hogging it you might get kicked off stage um number three is for the audience be supportive these things are best when people bear their souls i've seen people like start crying and break down at like poetry readings um and it, it's 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 <laughs> very uh very emotional when that happens and people don't want to do that if they feel like they're gonna get shit on so i don't really want to see any like eye rolling unless unless you know like we talked about earlier if someone's like you know genocidal you can fucking boo the shit out of it i'm like i'm i'm not i'm not supportive of that but you know be supportive. Um, other than that, I've been your master of ceremonies, Maddie Ratty Girl Meet. Please enjoy the lineup of wonderful poets we have prepared for either right now or later. I'll see you then. Wow. Oh, oh. there we go. Okay, sick. Sorry, I thought Discord wasn't working. How incredibly attractive and cool of a presenter uh, was that? Am I right or am I right? Um, so, fuck, yeah, I'm your ratster of ceremonies, which is a funny thing that I only came up with just now. Um, I can't remember. I'd go to so many of the, well, I used to go to so many of these things when I was in college. Um, and now I'm just like, I, I don't remember a single thing about any of them. Our first performer is supposed to be Viv Mouse, but Viv Mouse is not in the waiting room. So, get in the fucking waiting room, Vivian. <laughs> Here we go, okay. This is Viv Mouse.
Hi, it's been. Um, do I sound okay? Am I, am I? Cool. Okay. Um, should I set up the VST? Should I, should I get really, should I get crunchy or should I just do regular voice? You can, I'm thinking about regular voice. You can get crunchy. I don't, th I'm, was mm. t talking earlier about like doing a time limit, but there's only five people in mine. So I'm like, get crunchy. Fuck it. Take Fuck that it. little okay, extra I'm time. Not... I'm going to take a second to get crunchy. Well, I All have right. the crunch set up also. Um, I'm going to be doing um, a, a stream of consciousness pair of things that I wrote for one song off the LP that I'm releasing. Um, and it's... Some of it is scary. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, I also used to go to a ton of these in college, or right? they were mostly like oriented toward uh, musicians, and people would come in with like an acoustic guitar, or people would come in with a keyboard, or occasionally like like bands would come in and uh, just play shit, and it was a good time. Um, Hell yeah! I sort of expected just to sort of sit back and and mute myself. I didn't realize that there would be set up time where I would have to actually speak to anyone goodness Can you imagine i'm not gonna get crunchy i changed my mind yeah okay. right anyway yeah. i'm i'm yeah no crunch today no crunch this time no crunch maybe next time i'll, cr I'll get crunchy because yeah. we should definitely do at least a couple more of these this Hell should not be this yeah. should be a reoccurring thing um anyway um this is a an excerpt, I guess, if I want to be pretentious, from uh, the title track of my upcoming LP, Dream Eater, except without the music. Um, yeah. My eyes are shining and my head is empty. I had a dream and I wish it wasn't real. Familiar scenes on a green screen projected on the inside of my skull. My eyes are closed. I'm dreaming and my eyes are closed, but I'm awake. I'm so awake. I'm so very awake. This is the place I visit when I am nowhere, when I am nothing, when I'm collapsing down to a point, when I have nowhere else to go, I go there. When I have nothing, I have that. I have the space of dreams and visions and nightmares. And when I have no other home, that is my home. In the hole where the optic nerve leads to the brain, where Charon drags images from my eyes down into my throat, where they are discarded. And the creature on the surface makes up its own TV shows and radio plays and fantasies, oblivious to the world. And I'm trying to decide if I should do the other one. Yeah, I will. I see visions and dreams. The nightmares are the ones we wake up to, where we have less control than in our lucid dreams. They leave us exhausted. Our circumstances speak for themselves. Our bodies speak for themselves. I feel so gross writing poetry to be spoken over music because I'm proving that my music does not speak for itself. I can only speak on top of it, my words falling like oil leaking from a car onto a wet road. I want to set these words aflame and watch them burn and disperse, but I don't have the ability. I don't trust my voice to speak for me. I don't trust my words to be spoken. I don't trust my melodies to carry my words. My voice is wrong. No matter how much I work on it, it'll never sound how I want to sound. My vocal cords are wrong. I try to sing, but I succumb to the inevitability that it'll never sound right. I delete the recording. I close the logic file. I go to bed. And in my dreams, my larynx lets me sound how I should. In my dreams, I'm empowered to speak for myself. I don't have to jump through any hoops. It's just there. It's just right by default. I look how I should. I sound how I should. It's easy and it's natural and I don't have to work for it. It's normal and I don't have to put effort into how I sound because it's normal. I'm normal and I'm happy and I know I'm dreaming because I'm happy and I'm normal. It's not fake. It's the truth, but only then. Only then and only forever because I don't have to wake up. I don't have to wake up. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to take melatonin before I go to bed. I'm always tired enough to sleep. It's never hard. My body knows what it wants. I close the logic file. The music keeps playing. I'm in a high school bathroom. I try to fit on the toilet. It's a weird shape and I piss, but when I'm done, I still have to piss. Oh, I think to myself and everyone can hear it. I must be dreaming. 
So with effort, I wake myself up so I don't wet the bed and fumble my way to the bathroom in the dark. Normal. Normal. This is normal. This is a recurring dream. This is a recurring dream, and there's something wrong with me. But when I'm asleep, I'm normal. When I'm dreaming, I can be normal. I don't have to wake up. That's that's my edge. <laughs> Thank y'all. Can we get one... Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm muted. Can we get one more <laughs> fucking round of snaps for Viv Mouse? Holy shit. It was beautiful. Thank, Thank you for sharing. Thank y'all so much. Um, yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Viv. Thanks. So we're wonderful. I'm like, I was, I was worried that this wasn't going to go well, and already this is fucking giving me chills. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, how fucking yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'll step out the call and let the next person go. Thank you so much for testing this. Do you want to plug or are you good? Um, I guess I can plug. Uh, I mean, I already kind of plugged, but that you'll hear that song if you listen to the um the lp dream meter um by me um off it's the lp is also dream meter and the first half of that is like really super crunchy um like it sounds like hyper pop vocals and i'm really excited about it um but that is coming out august 13th which is a friday the 13th which i'm I'm a nerd and i would do that anyway um i don't want to plug too hard so thank you again for having me on Thank you. That was incredible. <laughs> All right. We have up next uh, Gezro, or Jezro. I never learned how to pronounce it, but I guess I will right now. Uh, let's move Jezro into the call. Hello, is this Jezro or Gezro? Can we get a... Say again? Yeah. <laughs> Gezro. Gezro, perfect. Gezro, thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks for thanks for having me. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'll uh, I suppose I'll do a uh, Manic Pixie Dream Girl by Olivia Gatwood. Um, she has a really good reading of it on YouTube. I'll probably link that. Um, but it's like you know, uh, that's basically the source. So I guess I just go ahead. Yeah, go for it. Awesome. Manic Pixie Dream Girl says. Have you heard this record? Manic Pixie Dream Girl says, let me save you with this record. Let me put the headphones on for you and smile while you listen. Cut to your point of view. Watch me smile while you listen. Hear that? That's the sound of you becoming a better person. I'm going to paint a picture of a bird on your beige wall without your permission, and you're going to love it. And you thought you hated birds. See me encouraging you to take risks? Manic Pixie Dream Girl wants you to do something you've never done before, like go swing dancing or smile. You want to know my name? You never call me by it anyway. If I had to guess, it would probably be a season or after a dead actress who you loved as a child. But this isn't about me. This is about you and your cubicle job, your white bedroom, your white Honda, your white mother. Manic Pixie Dream Girl says, I'm going to save you says, don't worry, you are still the lead role. This is your love story about the way I teach you to live. Everything they know about me, they will learn when it is projected onto you. Watch the way you pick up my bad habits and make them look good. Manic Pixie Dream Girl talks too much, says bad words out loud and cries at the commercials. That makes me a funny woman, right? The kind people like to laugh at? It's easy for you... It's easy to root for you when I act like this. So disagreeable. It's such a manic dream. Dream girl, you're almost broken accessory. Manic pixie dream girl says, let's play make-believe with my body. I'll be in a vintage dress in an empty prescription bottle. Good girl. Just bad enough. A burp and a curtsy. Let me be not too pretty. Hair fried from all that pink dye. Sex when you need it. Puppet when you're bored. Let me build myself smaller than you. Let me apologize when I get caught acting bigger than you. Let me always wait for this. Let me work for this. The convenient thing, 
about being a magical woman is that I can be gone as quickly as I came. And when you are a whole person, I'm, the movie is over. Manic Pixie Dream Girl doesn't go on. There's no need for her anymore. Manic Pixie Dream Girl is too Dream Girl, and you just woke up. Once I told you I was afraid of my father, and for a moment, I looked so human, the audience lost interest. You saw the crow's feet at the sides of my eyes and a small chip on my front tooth. I looked just like everyone else. And that's it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that rules. Thank you. Do you want to plug anything? Uh, nope. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> All right. Sick. Thank you yeah, so much for coming for on. It was a really good choice. <laughs> okay. So we were supposed to have I Love Sosa is next in the order, but um, I Love Sosa is not in the waiting room at the moment. So we're going to skip ahead to uh, Strix 9, otherwise, no, pardon me, otherwise known as Hoot Wheels. Um, let's hear it for Hoot Wheels. Howdy. Howdy. So you have some uh, fucking music shit to do. Yeah. I haven't heard even like a sample, so I'm very excited. Okay. So I'm going to try and make it go live and we'll see if that works. Okay. Uh, you could play like a sample note for me real quick. Yeah, sure. All right. Hell yeah. I can hear it. Perfect. Fuck yes. This cool. Rules. All right. All right. I will sit back and let you fucking do your thing. All right. So I'm good to go then? All right. Sick. <laughs> No clouds in sight. A blue sky for miles, and I feel nothing. It's a pathetic platitude from the world itself. <laughs> Promising a future it can never guarantee. Poisoned by idiots who have nothing to offer but platitudes. Words that betray the true intent behind them. Look at the bright side. I'm not a computer program. I can't run an antivirus scan to find the Trojan horses that make me slower, the worms that infect me and mine, the chain mails and spam that clog up my memory. I'm not an operating system. I can't install an update to fix what's broken or install Linux to brag about how being open sourced is super cool and shit. <laughs> Even so, I envy it. I want so desperately to showdown myself into a goddess taking complete control over my ship and exacting endless torture on the chaotic life forms who choose violence over compassion. They are mundane. They choose to offer empty platitudes because somehow that's how they cheer themselves up. I wish I too could choose to scorch my pupils by looking into the sun and blind myself to the despair around me. Feel the warmth of the sun as if my skin isn't next to catch fire. Smell the ashen bodies torched by years of neglect and ignorance. <laughs>
Thank you. Fuck yeah. So, yeah. I might ask you to repeat that in a what? little bit because I realized that were those so were those guitar notes supposed to be like isolated or were they like supposed to go mean? through a bunch of filters and and Oh, they were supposed to be going through a shitload of filters. Oh, okay. Well, cool. So, what ended up happening? Apparently, I c I can only hear what's coming through your microphone. Please don't tell something. me you can only Oh my god, that's so dumb. Hold on. Try... Oh my god, it sounds incredible. Wait, I'm okay, so okay, mad. okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I might just say, "Hey, do you want to go again just right now?" Yeah. Let hang me try on. and fix it see. and I'll see. Yeah. Uh Okay, so we're going to get this is uh we should feel good about this actually cuz we got the the raw version. It's like stems. We have stems now. So if anyone wants to make art out of this. Oh shit. I just heard a little bit of it. No, that's still just the guitar. Why? Okay, Discord. Can you not hear it at all? Uh no. Can you try doing maybe like Hang on a sec. A different kind of screen capture? Um, no, that's the one it's supposed to be. I think I know what the problem is. I'm, I have to use, uh, I don't know. I didn't think I'd be able to do it live. Oh, well, oh, cool. I'll, what I'll do. People still really enjoyed I'll, that. So like, okay. Uh, what I'll do instead is I'll plug, I'll plug my band camp and then I'll record it later. And then you can actually hear what it's supposed to sound like. Cause it was kind of nuts. All right, fuck yeah, I would love that. <laughs> I'm so mad. That I'm sorry. Makes me upset. No, that's fine. That's that's my bad. I didn't think ahead. Uh. All right, well, check out clutchlabs.bandcamp.com yeah. for what that was actually supposed to sound like. People still really enjoyed that. Like, I think. Okay, the, I'm I'm glad. The power of your voice really did carry it. Um, I'm glad. All right. But, like, trust me, it was so much better with the proper effect rack playing and everything. I'm so upset, but it is what it is. Fuck. Oh, well. Oh, well. Thanks for giving me the opportunity. It was really fun anyway. Hell, yeah. I'm glad that you had fun. Um, yeah. All right. Next up. Who's next up? Who's next up? Who's next up? Let me look at the... I should have made a list beforehand. Um... We got Sweet and Awful coming up. Hold on. Move to stream. Hello. Sweet and Awful. Welcome to the stream. Um, hello. Hello. Okay, hello. my... Uh... Yes. Uh, sorry. Hello. Uh, I'm uh, Karen Malady. Um, I'm a little, I guess, nervous. Uh, it's okay. uh, I want to read my. Uh, yes. I'm. I want to read my uh, uh, poem. Uh, girls like us today. Um. Let's see. Um. Yes. Yeah, so I was. Just, I guess I'm just gonna uh try to get into the right uh headspace and begin. Okay. Uh, Girls Like Us by Karen Malady. Red flower blooms defiant. Smoke stems and heat unfolds. Light pollutes and pollinates. A child soldier in second puberty, unfurling form on a second story. Another moon, Mars proficient. Head in the clouds, she sheds her silver lining. In the corpse of a body, sword ready. The girl, not girl, bleeds profusely, yet to become a quantum entanglement of identities. A melody catches the wind, radios tune into the harmony of the spheres. Mariana Trench memory banking through the round robin telemarketing gauntlet. Dial now, everything's a call to action. Stare at the balcony or bed, click to subscribe miles of 30-day free trials into a mass grave. 
world connection disconnected, speak unwieldy true words. You, laughs I. October blitz humiliation sends blankets hurtling into bliss. Now, airing my sex tape on the Weather Channel, public service announcement erotica. There is a war going on between this world and mine. Eating breasts, sweat, malfeasance, and panties contain subversions. Of course, bring in the artillery to begin the Age of Aquarius. Girls like us kill and fuck daily, and I vorpal cut the tension. Bite the divine live wire. Under the panopticon, everything is exhibition. Every day is stuck between slice of life and horror, tracing contours of a convenience store hauntology. Shock filling mouths with the shape of God, whispering prayers for prey and apex predators. Yet another psychic battle in the Delhi Isle. Maybe intimacy can be found prepackaged, anything to get away from the commonplace slashers. Perpetual motion, fight or flight response, spinning wheels to routine violence, spinning reels of night terrors on the silver screen. Voyeurs yell, don't go in there, every new scene, as if there were any other options. Cast in the dual role as monster and victim, all haunted houses turn into battlefields and hold additions for the theater of cruelty. Girls like us take center stage while I carpet bomb the guilty. Girls like us need to be safe, need to be loved, but our requests are denied. So we cry and read manga while learning darker magics and making darker packs. Girls like us fuck and kill daily. Uh, okay, that's that's my poem. Um, fuck yes, I love that. That was incredible. Uh, thank you so much. Um, yes, that was Girls Like Us by me. Um, I'm hopefully going to get a trap book to gather with this in it at the end of the year, which is tentatively going to be called The Body and All Its Machinations. Fuck yes. Uh, you can find more history on Twitter at sweet and awful or gumroad.com slash Karen Malady. Hell yeah. Karen, thank you so much. That was beautiful. Uh, yeah, thank you for having me on. That was great. Hell yeah. All right, we got one more lined up. I was thinking I might read a poem, but I don't know. It's fucking put a pogger in the chat if I should read a poem. Um, but in the meantime, while you're sort of preparing your pogger, um, we've got uh, Rock and Riley from uh, Soft Corridors here to read something that might be gruesome and, and terrible. Uh, so let's see it. Rock and Riley, thank you. Welcome to the show. Is this is this Dog Cop? Which I it's been so long since I've read any Lame Zone stuff. I don't know. I don't know any lame zone anymore. Rock and Riley, are you there? Hello? We've got you've hit the unmute button, which is a great first step. But I can't hear anything you're saying. So let's try and let's try and cross that brain. <laughs> Being very silly, but um it's because I'm cute and fun and everyone likes me. I feel like I, we've got the Ouija board out. Hello? Is Rock and Riley there? Her Discord crashed. Oh no. Uh all right. Uh Hello? Is this going to work now? Can we get a sign, Rock and Riley? Show us a sign. Oh, the little microphone disappeared. All right, I'm muted. Uh, shit. <laughs> okay, well, this is technical difficulties now. 
uh, but not enough to pull the technical difficulties thing up. You know what we're going to do? We do need more candles. That's what it is. Can we get some more candles in chat? See if we can't uh, connect to the spirit of Rock and Riley. Uh, what are we going to do? What can I do? Um, how will this work? Okay, we're, we're, we've got open lines of communication to Rock and Riley. Um, hold on. I feel like fucking, hold on. We're in the... Is hello? We're working on it. We're trying so hard. Oh my god. Hold on. Rock and Riley. Rock and Riley, is that you? <laughs> We're trying so hard here, folks. <laughs> Telegram from London. Rock and Riley trapped within the ghost zone. Unable to communicate with outside realms. <laughs> Ooh, birthday cake. Okay. We might have... We might have a medium for Rock and Riley coming on. Boy, I really hope this Morse code sound effect I looked up on YouTube isn't, uh, <laughs> like, just the worst shit. I wonder if- that'd be so funny if Twitch, like, understood Morse code well enough to be like, you said a slur on stream and now you're banned. <laughs> you were erotically Morse coding and I was thinking, no! I fucking this is Yeah, I'm 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 terrible. I've sunk She's personally asked Okay, perfect. Hop into the waiting room. Um copyrighted slurs in Morse code. Yeah, that's our that's the title of our next poem. Heika uh Heka hop in the waiting room and I'll move you over to stream chat. Okay, sorry, Rock and Riley. Hello? Hello? We're now in communication with the the medium conduit of Rock and Riley. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Um, I am the stand in for Riley because her Discord's crashed. I apologize. Um, so, just so, you, just so you know, this was a very last minute thing that I brought up. Um, and. This might not be the best performance, but it's better than Riley's Discord crashing. So are you um, reading something Rock and Riley wrote, or what's the... Yes. Okay. I'm reading something Ro Rock and Riley wrote. Okay, um, sick. So let me pull it up real quick. Um, this is incredibly spontaneous. So uh, that, that's, that's, uh, I feel like this poem really resonated with me. I'm gonna mute. Give me a minute. <laughs> We're just gonna take a second here to just sort of sit in the ambience. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm really enjoying this stream. Actually, this this is going a lot better than, well, to be honest, better than I thought it would because I get anxious about this kind of thing. So I'm happy with the way this is turning out. Um. Where is... What's Riley's Twitter right now? Oh, Ambient Creek. Okay, sick. We'll put the... We'll put Ambient Creek in the... in the change nickname field.
There we go. Look at that. Your wisdom teeth are coming in. Don't those come in when you're like 10? What's going on there? Are you 10? This is not a 10 year old stream. This is, this is a stream for big girls only. What's, what, um, they can come in as late as 18 or 19. That's wild. That would suck. I got my wisdom teeth in when I was 14 or 13, I think. Um, and I, they didn't let me keep them. I said, um, oh, that's why, <laughs> um, I, I said, like, I remember being delirious and like lying down on a bench and, and being like, could I keep them? And they were like, no. And I, I remember being so incensed by that because they were my teeth. They couldn't take my teeth. Absolutely not. Fucking bastard. <laughs> They took my teeth they were from my, like I grew myself with my skull and my bones and, and the milk that I drank. This is, this is my poem. What is it with oral surgeons who have a fucking complex? You would imagine, I mean like fucking, yeah, right. Cause you like your dentistry can kill you. But also, get fucked. Whoever the fuck you are, you think you're better than me, right? Just because you remove teeth? You don't get to tooth fairy your wisdom teeth? No! Dentistry can kill you. This is a fact. Um, I, what I meant to say by that was you can get a heart attack from not taking good care of your teeth. But it came out as me saying dentistry can kill you. So, you know, fuck it. Um, I'm just stupid. <laughs> All right, so there may not be, they may or may not be a uh, background noise because there's some stuff happening. Um, but I guess I'll just start. So this piece is titled The Last All-American Summer Supper. Um, and it is off Riley's forthcoming album. Um, and all I understand about it is that it's about cannibalism. So, um, well, we love that. And here. I have taken a, yes, I have taken a quick read through. Um, so this is like a really, really cold read. All right. I am culinary prophecy fit to explode in a pan. My life has been a constant state of euphoria due to adrenaline turned anesthetic. When I realize my body grows back when parts are ripped out and I simply cannot die, dot some dotted lines on my body, the, cotted, the dotted agreement is just cut here. A mother tells her brother that you should taste the flesh first before you add sauce. No expiration date, no risk of mold unless you want it. Critics praise the body, calling it the new Christ combo meal. Brains too far gone and questions are never asked. Heard a news station got whip, got caught whiff and they're hungry for answers. I'll gladly feed them. More at 11. Five-star restaurants want to use pieces of me in their meals. Influencers pay top dollar for the more expensive cuts of me. A small all-American family barbecue became a worldwide feast and phenomenon. Cults think I'm the next coming. Nah, nah, nah. I am the fucking next coming. I am a Christ edible in stasis. My juice is intoxicating, and Guy Fieri can't get his fucking fangs off me. I'm famous foods. I'm good eats. Come one, come all. Clearly, you've never tasted the sweet flesh of this god. It's gone downhill, but no one's arguing. It's a block party. It's an image macro of my organs being harvested. It's alive with the whole crowd. Online message forums have meetups here. When you're here, your family. 
shout out the dudes who kept cutting my head off and fucking it in a corner. Come on, Barb, we're gonna miss the cookout. They're cooking the girl again. This is life. This is now. And, uh, scene. I hope that was faithful enough. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> that fucking, that got me pumped. I, <laughs> hell fucking yeah. Thank you for that. That was literally the first time that I've ever read that out loud. And I'm, I, I was kind of like wanting to do that. So, hell um, yeah. I hope that I channeled that energy that Riley, Riley wanted. You've made an excellent well. conduit so far. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Now, as we do with every every weekend with the final poet, we will feast on your flesh until there's nothing left. Thank you so much. Do you want to plug anything um, before you leave? Um, Riley's Twitter is at Ambien Creek. Um, if you're interested in following the conduit, um, I am at Bucho Bear B U C H O B E A R on Twitter. Um, Riley also has a band camp that is, let me look it up real quick. Um, rockandriley.bandcamp.com. Um, I personally make music. Um, so, and again, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So oh, yeah. thank you for having me be a conduit for Riley. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Fuck yeah. Um, and that's, that's it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Uh, my name is Ben Haika. Bye-bye. Hell yeah. This was a smashing success. I, I, I'm, I'm personally very excited. I, I want to see... I'm going to look at the, the announcements channel just to see if there's anyone else who popped in. And I'm going to look at Twitter real quick just to see who... If anyone's replied, anyone has liked it, I think... We might be coming to an end. Um, how do we feel about uh, Maddie Girl Me doing a poem? This is an old one. This is one I wrote when I was in high school. But it it was kind of my showstopper. So, uh, you know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Would it... All right. Well, I got one snap, so. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This poem is called To My Ex-Boss. Uh, and it was supposed to be, like, a fun gospel thing. Um, man, I'm gonna read this, and I'm gonna think, like, oh yeah, I definitely wrote this in high school. But, um, whatever, fuck it, YOLO, right? <sighs> I haven't done this in so long. Okay. To my ex-boss... This store, for me, was home to eight hours a day, four days a week. Home to, I could take more hours and more hours don't exist. Home to a winning smile and customer service so incredible that your Yelp ratings dipped when I was fired. This was the home of people I considered my friends, intimate secrets shared over reshelving returns. For a second, I thought I was valued. And I don't hate you. Far from it, actually. I want to... Thank you for disillusioning me, reminding me that, like the stores that exist in this mall, I am temporary. I am to bring in revenue. Thank you for reminding me that, like the empty spaces where these people's lives and their livelihoods used to sit, that I am real estate. I am to you only to be temporarily full and to be emptied once again when I no longer serve your needs. I forgot for a time that who I am was not safe for work. That's a high school line for sure. <laughs> I forgot for a brief moment that I need to tell you something about myself and I'm not ready for it to be public yet, but I think you deserve to know does not mean don't tell our boss. Thank you for the reminder. I am not valued by you. I am worth $11.50 less than the price of your fancy breakfast. I sold my hours for chumps chain. There's another high school line for you. Thank you for getting rid of me before I got so stupid to think you wouldn't. And then that, you know, I mean, this was high school, right? So fucking 
anything with any amount of artistry brought the fucking house down. But that was to my ex-boss, um, which was a poem I wrote when I was a kid. Um, and that's basically it. Unless there's someone else who wants to come up or someone who wants to come up again, we're gonna... We're gonna close it out here. Sorry for burping. That was gross and nasty. Thank you, Fragbay, for the <laughs> for the snap. Um, you know, sometimes you like to have a little bit of a shorter stream. This was this was fun. Um, if there's anyone in chat who wants to come up, uh, let me know. Actually, here, let me paste the Discord link one more time, just so that if there's anyone in chat who wants to come up like spontaneously you can just run right up and i'll get you on right now hop in the waiting room when you get in the chat and um yeah nobody all right that's fine um thank you all for coming out thank you for spending this time with us thank you to our wonderful performers for um you know bearing their souls and 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 um, and, uh, you know, being here and, and, and sharing this moment with us. We'll definitely be doing this again. Probably not on Saturday, because Saturday is Ratterday night day. But, who knows? Thank you so much. Oh. All right. Well, we're going to do a little bit of piracy. Um, listen to Olivia Gatwood's reading of Manic Pixie Dream Girl. Um, while I, uh, close the stream out. Hold on. Let's change the, whoop. thanks for coming. Oh, I, 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 so this is stupid. I put the M key as the mute button. So when I typed coming, then, uh, you know, whatever. But this is Olivia Gatwood's Manic Pixie Dream Girl. We heard a, a reading from this from Gezro earlier. Manic Pixie Dream Girl says, have you heard this record? Manic Pixie Dream Girl says, let me save you with this record. Let me put the headphones on for you and smile while you listen. Cut to your point of view. Watch me smile while you listen. Hear that? That's the sound of you becoming a better person. I'm gonna paint a picture of a bird on your beige wall without your permission and you're gonna love it. And you thought you hated birds. See me encouraging you to take risks? Manic Pixie Dream Girl wants you to do something you've never done before, like go swing dancing or smile. You wanna know my name? You never call me by it anyway. If I had to guess, it would probably be a season or after a dead actress who you loved as a child. But this isn't about me. This is about you and your cubicle job, your white bedroom, your white Honda, your white mother. Manic Pixie Dream Girl says, I'm going to save you. Says, don't worry, you are still the lead role. This is your love story about the way I teach you to live. Everything they know about me, they will learn when it's projected onto you. Watch the way you pick up my bad habits and make them look good. Manic Pixie Dream Girl talks too much. Says bad words out loud and cries at the commercials. That makes me a funny woman, right? The kind people like to laugh at? It's easy to root for you when I act like this. So disagreeable, such a manic dream, dream girl, you're almost broken accessory. Manic Pixie Dream Girl says, let's play make-believe with my body. I'll be a vintage dress and, and an empty prescription bottle. Good girl, just bad enough, a burp and a curtsy. Let me be not too pretty, hair fried from all that pink dye. Sex when you need it, puppet when you're bored. Let me build myself smaller than you. Let me apologize when I get caught acting bigger than you. Let me always wait for this. Let me work for this. The convenient thing about being a magical woman is that I can be gone as quickly as I came. And when you are a whole person for the first time, the movie is over. Manic Pixie Dream Girl doesn't go on. There's no need for her anymore. Manic Pixie Dream Girl is too Dream Girl, and you just woke up. Once, I told you I was afraid of my father, and for a moment, 
I looked so human, the audience lost interest. You saw the crow's feet at the sides of my eyes and a small chip on my front tooth. I looked just like everyone else. Thank you.